What's one of the most underrated crafting tools? My answer is a craft knife. And I'm so glad that Altenew have perfected the design for an ergonomic craft knife to add to our stash. Let's do a deep dive into the comfy cut ergonomic craft knife. With tips on how to best use a craft knife without injury, my favorite uses for a craft knife, and a tutorial sharing how to install the replacement blades that come with your knife. So let's jump into it. Here is the knife. We have the fabulous comfy cut ergonomic craft knife. You can see that we have that as well as some replacement blades. On the back of the packaging, we do have the instructions on how to replace those blades as well. So let's just open this up and let's have a feel of this fabulous knife. It fits perfectly in the hand and it is a fabulous color. And you can see that the little replacement blades are tucked away in the little box as well. This knife is super, super sharp. So we do have that little cap just to keep everything nice and safe. To replace the blade, all you're gonna to need to do is unscrew the bottom part of the blade, and that is gonna release the kind of crosshairs that we have at the top to make everything a little bit more looser, and then you're gonna be able to remove that blade really quickly and easily. Once that's done, you're gonna get one of your replacement blades, and you're gonna pop that back in to the crosshairs. Just make sure that you've pushed it all the way down, and then all you're gonna to need to do then is just screw the bottom part of the knife and that is gonna lock everything firmly into place. And there you go, you're good to go again. The craft knife is fabulous for getting into any areas that you wouldn't be able to get into with scissors. So as you can see here, I'm cutting away this kind of land locked area here and that's something that you wouldn't be able to get into with scissors. So that does that fabulously. You can see that we have that fabulous little hole on there. So as well as cutting into landlocked areas with the knife, another fabulous way to use it is to use it to cut strips. So maybe you wanted thin strips of cardstock, or if you stamped a number of sentiments, you can also use this to cut these really quickly and easily and have lots of sentiment strips. You can also create little slits or pockets in your cards or even scrapbook pages to kind of pop things into really quickly and easily. All you're gonna need to do is add a slit that doesn't go to the edges and then you can pop things inside to create a really cute effect. You can also use it to kind of finish off partial die cutting or use it if a die didn't cut properly. So all you're gonna to want to do is add the ruler to the edges and then just snip away with your craft knife to create that fabulous and clean look. You're gonna be able to do the kind, same kind of effect if you do have dies that haven't cut properly. All you're gonna to need to do is kind of just follow that line. So as you can see here, all I'm doing is pretending that I wanted to go further down with the die and all you're gonna to need to do is just go around the places that didn't cut uh, to kind of finish that off with a clean edge with the craft knife. Another way that you can use your craft knife is if you do have some kind of surfaces that won't clean very well and you just wanna take off some of that material, you can just use that to scrape it away as well. Hello crafters, Jen here. For more tips, techniques, tutorials, and to discover which paper crafting products are right for you, subscribe to Altenew's YouTube channel. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Thanks for watching.